Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. In this video, part two trigonometry, we're going to be learning about finding the side lengths of a right angle triangle using the trig ratios. Coming up. So a quick recap from the previous video, we introduced an acronym, Sokotoa, to represent the three trig ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent of a right angle triangle. So we're going to be using this to solve some application problems using trig. Okay, so if we know the angles of a right angle triangle, um, the trig ratios give us the ratios of its side lengths. So for example, let's say we have this triangle PQR, and we have an angle 36 degrees. I can use the acronym Sokotoa to set up one of the trig ratios. So if I start with PQ, PQ is the adjacent in this case, and PR would be the hypotenuse. So the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse is connected using the cosine ratio. So in this case, we have a 36 degrees. So cosine 36 on your calculator will give you approximately 0 0.809. Okay, so one very important thing to remember is that your calculator should be on degrees mode and not on radian. So if we also knew one of the side lengths, then we could use the trigonometric ratios to find the other side lengths. So as long as we've got one side length and an angle, we can find a missing side length. So let's do an example. Find x in the following diagram and round your answer to two decimal places. Okay, so we have one side length, which is 7 centimeters. We have a given angle, which is 26 degrees. And we need to find out this missing length, which is x centimeters. So what we're going to do is step one, we're going to redraw the figure and mark on it the hypotenuse the opposite and adjacent relative to the given angle. So we know that opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. And of course, opposite theta is the opposite. And that leaves us with the adjacent. So step two, we're going to choose an appropriate trigonometric ratio and construct an equation. So we're going to use our acronym Sokotoa. We know that we need to find our adjacent and they've given us the hypotenuse. So that's going to be the cosine ratio. Adjacent over hypotenuse is a cosine ratio. So step three, we're going to solve the equation to find the unknown side length. So cosine theta is equal to adjacent over the hype. So we can write cosine 26 is equal to the adjacent over the hype. So the adjacent is x and our hypotenuse is 7. Now if I multiply both sides by 7, I can cancel out the 7 on the right hand side, which will give me 7 times cosine 26 is equal to x. Now on the calculator, if I do 7 times cosine 26, I would get x is equal to approximately 6.26 centimeters. We're using degrees when you're using trigonometry. So make sure that the calculator's mode is on degrees. Okay, let's do another example. We're going to find x and we're going to round our answers to two decimal places. So x is the height of the tree. We know that um, we have a distance from the tree which is 82 meters and we have an angle of elevation of 31 degrees. So step one, we're going to redraw the figure and mark the height opposite and adjacent relative to the given angle. So I'm assuming that there's a right angle here next to the tree. So that's going to be my hypotenuse. Opposite the given angle is obviously the opposite. And then next to the angle is the adjacent. Step two, we're going to choose an appropriate trigonometric ratio and construct an equation. So using the Sokotoa, I know that I'm going to be finding the opposite. And I have the adjacent. So opposite and adjacent is the tan ratio. So tan theta is equal to the opposite of adjacent. Step three, we're going to solve the equation to find the unknown side length. So tan 31 is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So I need to try to get the x on its own. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 82. That's going to allow me to cancel out the 82 on the right hand side. So that leaves me with 
82 times 1031 is equal to x. And if I do that on the calculator, x is approximately 49.27 meters. In the next video, we're going to be using the inverse trig ratios to work out the missing angles. So make sure you watch that. As always, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more math videos. And I'll see you in the next one.